Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we are taking a look at another small, little QSP knife. This one does come to us from the Apex Pass Around group as well. You know, we just saw the Walrus. Well, now we're going to take a look at the Otter. Now, I will say that these guys, the Otter, several different models, several different colors. I'll put links down in the description. Uh, but they were very, very popular. Very popular. Uh, when I was uh, helping out QSP uh, Blade Show Texas, these were a really, really popular model. These in the Canary for sure. And But this is a little guy. It's a small knife. As you can see, this one is obviously uh, the Jade G10. Now, we've got a little pop of blue going on here. Well, more than a little pop. Because we're talking about pivot. We're talking about pocket clip. We're talking about hardware, standoffs, liners. And then the blade is black. To me, this color scheme is a little bit odd. I think it would look better if it was all black. That's just me, though. You know, black, pivot, hardware, all that good stuff. I think that would go a little bit better with the jade. Now, I know there is another jade one, and I'm not sure. I think it's a stonewash or a satin. And I'm, gosh, I can't remember right off the top of my head. But little guy, like I said, open construction, overall fit and finish, you know, really pretty darn well. It's got some texturing going on there. If you can kind of see that on the Jade, we've got some texture that gives us a really fantastic grip on that G10. I mean, I really have to force my thumb to slide across it. So it's very nice. We do have a lanyard hole, so we're making the lanyard fans happy. And oh my goodness, I'm hoping I'm making the lefties happy here. It's It's been a rough week <laughs> for making my lefty friends happy, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this little guy, it does it. It does it. It's it's coming okay. It's coming out okay. Left hand carry, uh, tip up, of course. And we only have a single means of deployment. It's just a flipper tab. That's okay, though. Nice. Solid detent, little shake shut. Definitely a solid detent. Very good. Little bit, might need a little bit of juice in that pivot. Give it a little bit more drop, but you know, when they do the, when they drop like this, it gives my thumb a break. And my thumb really thanks me. But you've got this coated 14C28N, kind of a sheep's footy. You know, it, it's almost kind of like sheep's foot here but drop or spear point here so a very interesting blade shape i like it nothing wrong with it got some jimping there on the blade on the spine gives us a decent amount of grip for sure uh won't be choking up on this one at all because yeah there's just no room no room to choke up there whatsoever so i did say it was small it is little it's a little one one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking at about six and a half inches. About a three and three quarter inch handle, which gives us about a two and three quarter inch blade. Pretty much a full cutting edge. And then our grip length. Uh, we're still working in pretty close to a three and a quarter inch grip length. So, I mean, it actually fits very nicely in my hand. I like the way it fits. It's got a good grip to it. Really enjoy the way it fits in my hand. Now, I did kind of mention, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I did kind of mention the Canary. I'm going to give you a size comparison with the Canary. So overall length, uh, they're, they're not far off. Uh, canary might have it by just a hair on the blade. And the Otter actually might have it by just a hair on the handle. So overall, I think we're, we might be pushing right about, I'm going to, Try to get them lined up here. I mean, yeah, they're pretty much the same length. And I still, guys, I'm loving the Canary. I really, really do. Overall, let's get a big picture. And when I say big picture, I break out the big one, the PM2. Definitely a much larger knife. And then, of course, we'll take a look up against the bug out. Bug out makes it look small too. 
Oh my goodness. Yes. It's a little one. That's okay though. I like it. Overall weight, we're looking at 2.4 ounces or 69, dude. 69 grams. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 12 years old mentally sometimes, so I say that a lot, but it's true. It's got a the pocket clip. Kind of a firm little clip. I mean, it's narrow, you know. We've got decent ramp on it. It went in there pretty good. That's how it's going to fit in the regular pocket. Let's see how it, feels, how it looks in that fifth pocket. So it does pretty much bottom out in that fifth pocket. Bottoms out on the clip. So nice little second. I definitely consider this a second, secondary carry knife. Absolutely 100%. I do like smaller knives, but just its overall size for me, it's definitely a secondary carry. And it has got a stout little clip on it. So that's not going anywhere. Not going now. So overall, I do like this little knife. I do like the Otter. I I like smaller knives, but it feels very, very good in my hand. You know, I can feel this portion of the clip a little bit. It's not terrible. I just, I know it's there for sure. Um, back here, not really. It's hitting me pretty well. Um, if I bear down really good, I can probably feel this a little bit more than I like, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. For a smaller knife, like I said, it's going to be a secondary carry. I'm not going to be using this for a lot of the stuff like I use for I do at work. It does pretty good on six thread. Nine thread, it has a little bit of trouble with just because of overall blade length. And I mean, honestly, I didn't even try it on the 21 thread uh, just because of the smaller blade size and everything. So comes fairly decently sharp. Let's see here. Let's get some, some pip here. Let's do a little bit of a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's even after cutting some... That's even after cutting some six thread. So, yeah, it came... It came sharp. Felt like it might have a little bit of a hang-up spot there. Oh, no. Yeah, not too bad. Does okay. Doing pretty good. But... And I don't know what anybody else has done with this knife either. So, like I said, it's an Apex Passaround knife, so... I, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't stopped it. Nothing. So it's doing pretty darn good. That 14C, I do love 14C. It keeps a really great edge. And these guys, oh man, I gotta look. I forgot what they go for. So let me look for you. Gotta look it up real quick. Shouldn't take me too long, hopefully. But like I said, there are several, several different color options. The black and gold and black and silver were very, very popular. They were gone very quickly. And, of course, now that I want to... There we go. I was going to say it wasn't going to come up very quickly. Sorry, guys. Bad TV. It's all good. Trying to find your price. What are they going for? On the QSP website, they're going for 43 Now, I know White Mountain Knives is having a pretty darn good uh, QSP sale. So, I'm going to check that link uh, as well. Because for 42 bucks, and now that I have a White Mountain Knives code, Big Red 10, you could get whatever they're on sale for and 10% off. So, yeah. I'll find that code for you. I'll leave the... Or I'll leave the link down there if I can, if they're on sale. I'll leave the code as well. And of course, I'll leave the QSP uh, website up there as well. So thanks a lot, guys. Greatly, greatly appreciate you stopping by. Checking out the little QSP otter with me today. As always, I greatly appreciate every single one of you. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.